ran into Ben randomly on YouTube, uh, and so happy I did because I got on the phone with him the next day. We had about an hour conversation, and I knew after I got off the phone that Ben was uh, the guy for me, the guy to help me uh, get streamlined with my business and, and take me to a level that I know I, uh, I need to be. In this video, I want to show you why you as a trainer should be taking a break at least once every 90 days from your business and from training kids. All right. Now, let me take you back to 2013. So that year was the year that I had the biggest workload of sessions. And I used to run around 37 sessions per week. Now, I have taught to coaches over the last year that run way more sessions than that per week. But I remember when I got to that level, I would get done with my week and I would just be so drained because I wasn't just doing the training. I was talking to parents, I was marketing, I was running the billing, I was also managing coaches, and I was doing so many different things. And it was very draining and it was making me resent coaching because every single day I was just strapped in to having to do these sessions all the time. And I never gave myself a break. I used to have this mentality of that, you know, that breaks were for people that were mentally weak <laughs> and really bad mentality to have. So I never took breaks. I, I always felt guilty too when I, if I ever did take a break, if I took like a day off, I would feel so guilty and I would be like, man, like I shouldn't be doing that. I should be working harder than all my competitors. The reality is you need to take breaks. And the best way to do that is you schedule out breaks throughout the year. And when you do that, then you can look at your calendar and say, all right, on the week of July 4th, like that week I'm not doing any sessions. And I'm going to let all of my clients know about this way before we get there. So if you do make up sessions, then you can do them like way sooner. So this way you can go on a trip or you can just stay at home and do nothing that week. So you can rest and recover. This business is very physical. Like you are spending a lot of time on your feet. You're spending so much time speaking too. Like that is hard to do every single day, right? So throughout the year, you should try to give yourself scheduled breaks. And I know if you do that, what it does is it helps you become more efficient within the period of time that you are working, right? So this way you can look forward to taking a small break, right? And the other thing that I would recommend doing too, this is something I learned when I got married, which is don't work on the weekends. And I'm telling you that if you have a full-time business, right? If you're doing this part-time and the only time you can do sessions is on Saturdays and Sundays, then disregard what I'm saying, all right? Because like, if you're doing that to just get traction in the meantime, then continue working on the weekends. But if you have a full-time business, don't work on Saturdays and Sundays and the reason why is because when you have those two days of like pure relaxation away from coaching, you're so much more effective during the week. And the reality is if you're working, if you're working on the weekends, like you're not going to be able to see your family. You're not going to be able to see your friends. You, you will have zero social life if you're out at the fields or out at the courts all day long on Saturdays and Sundays. And the beauty about being a business owner is you get to decide your schedule and you get to decide when you offer your sessions and when you don't, right? And I spent this year, nine years in my business working every single day, right? And the biggest days of my training <coughs> sessions were on Saturdays and Sundays. And I used to have things set up. This is insane, but this is how I had it set up. It was Sunday, I would train from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. straight, zero break. Right. So if you have done something like that, you know how hard that is. All right. That's 11 hours of training straight, no breaks. I, I didn't have an hour cushion time in between. It was back to back to back sessions all the way through the day. I used to do that every single Sunday. And what I realized was, you know, Sunday night when, when I would get done, I was like, man, I am physically dead. And then Monday I'd go back into training again. <laughs> really hard to do. I never gave myself breaks back then. And now, right, 
because I started to realize, well, if you work every single weekend, you're not going to be able to do anything in your personal life. Like it's, it's impossible. And if you do, you're going to be tired of your sessions. And if you're tired of your sessions, now the quality of your, your sessions drop. And that means your clients won't stay with you long term if your quality is dropping, right? So if you are doing it full time, plan out times throughout the year, at least three or four times throughout the year where you're going to take, <clears throat> if it's not a week, take at least three or four days off during the week or on the weekend, all right? And if you have the ability to change your schedule, because if you're a full-time business owner, to not work on the weekends, I would advise you to start doing that now. Because when you do that, you feel so much better when you get to the weekend because you can live like a normal person, <laughs> right? And again, I used to think the opposite. I used to think, you know, I need to grind it out seven days a week and I need to never take time off and I, I need to be working constantly. That mindset is flawed and that is not going to be sustainable for a long period of time. You might be able to do that in your early 20s and that's cool, but as you get older and you know, as things change in your life, you're not going to be able to do that. It's just straight up, you're not going to be able to do that. And if you are doing that and you're older, let's say you're in your 30s or 40s, you're seeing how that's affecting your family time. You're seeing how that's affecting your personal life. And you're also probably seeing how that's making you feel at your sessions. So long story short, take time off, schedule it out, stop working on the weekends. When you do that, you get so much more efficient with your day-to-day -day stuff during the week. And uh, I think really the whole goal of having a business is to be able to create more free time in your personal life. If you're brand new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you wanna reach out to me and you haven't spoken with me yet, shoot me a text message. It's in the link in the description. <clears throat> it's 210-960-5771. And uh, go click through to our website, buildmysportsbiz.com. You can learn about what we do and see how we help coaches from all over the world. That's it, and I'll see you soon.